Hey everybody, this is Jeff with Reverb.com. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, the lead playing style of Mr. Rory Gallagher. Probably one of the most revered guitar players of the 60s and 70s, of course, Irish guitar player. And Rory had such a unique style and such a unique sound. Great rhythm player, wrote some really cool tunes, great slide player. Today I want to concentrate on some of his unorthodox lead licks that I've discovered in studying him. You know, he can play subtle when, it, when it's time, but he's really aggressive with the guitar pick and his note selection is really like no other guitar player of the time. Rory um, primarily played, uh, he played Telecasters at times mostly for his slide stuff, which we might visit at another time, but his main Strat, I believe, was a 61 Fender Stratocaster with a rosewood neck. I have a Custom Shop 57 reissue with a maple neck today, but still we're getting close as far as sound. I'm using a Pro Analog Devices Manicore pedal into a newer Magnetone amp. So, you know, as long as you have that single coil sound, you're getting close to what Rory was doing, and I think he used all the pickups depending on what he was doing. You know, if, if Rory played a lot of boogie-type blues and, and rocked-up versions of blues tunes, but his note selection, you know, when he was, if he was playing a boogie, you know, some kind of rhythm like, you know, I hear a lot of guitar players would immediately go for the, the blues box, which is cool. But one lick I picked up that was in a boogie tune um, was more like, a, So I find it, that would be a really odd lick that I would not think to do in a boogie, but it works completely. He's, he's playing kind of modal. I mean, depending how you look at it, it could be considered Mixolydian mode, partly Dorian mode. Again, I said this in other videos about players. A lot of these guys, I don't know if they thought in terms of theory like that. They're probably just whatever sounded good to them. I'm not sure in Roy's case, but look at this note selection that he's using. I would never think to play something like that in a blues boogie. So that's what's so cool about it. So I'm in the key of E. I'm starting here at the 10th fret. And Rory played with his pinky a lot, I noticed too. He's taking his pinky up to the 15th and doing a triplet rolling pull-offs, 15, 13, 12. And then the same thing, 13, 12, 10. And the same thing on the G string, 14, 12, 10. 12th fret on the D string. 11, 12, and a bend. And if you watch these videos, especially the younger Rory Gallagher, it really looks like he's attacking the strings, like he, it's really putting his all into it. And I know he played around a lot with the way he dug into the string. So I'll slow that down again one more time. Another lick that I picked up from Rory, listening to Rory's version of Messing with the Kid, which is an old Junior Wells blues song, but Rory did it nothing like Junior Wells. It was more on the rocked up side. And this lick he's doing, he does it as the band is coming from an E chord to an A, from the one to the four. So it, it's like he kind of starts out in the key of E and then rolls into A major. And again, it's, he's using, you know, major scale type runs over a, a straight blues, which is so unorthodox, but sounds so cool. And the lick is. So I'm starting here in what I would consider, you know, like the, a, the E major pentatonic. And I'm doing a 9-11, 9-11, hammering on up into a bend. So I'm only picking one note in that sequence. And while I've got the bend up, I'm using the pinky here to grab the 12th of the high E string, the 9 of the high E, and then slide back to the to 7th. But I'm picking both of those notes. Yeah. 
And then right about the time the band moves to A, Rory moves into this lick. So now he's kind of in a more of an A major position. And he's doing this rolling pull-offs with his pinky ring and index finger, eight, seven, five on the B string, seven, six, four on the G string. Seventh fret with the middle finger here on the D string. Sixth fret on the G string and then seventh with the bend on the G string. So if I put this, you know, slow it down a little bit, the whole thing. Another cool Rory lick that I discovered is um, something that you would use, you know, in E minor or something that was E dominant, a rock song in E. More of a, a modal kind of sound, not so much the blue scale, but the lick is... And when you do that different pick attack there, that makes it a little more Rory. He's really big on the, on the pick squeals and, and playing in different spots on the string to create that. I'm starting at the uh, ninth fret on the D string, and then seventh fret on the G string, and ninth fret on the G string. And I'm going to the seventh fret, to the eighth fret on the B string, and then a hammer on pull off between those two notes. And then back to nine and seven on the G string, and then doing a full bend with the index on the seventh fret of the B string. And when you do that pick thing, that sounds a little more like Rory. All right, I'm gonna stay in the uh, key of E for this next one. Um, I wanna show you a trick that I discovered from Rory. I think maybe, Jeff Beck might do it occasionally too. It doesn't work well on Les Pauls, it's a, but it's a great trick on a Stratocaster uh, with the five-way switch. And what he does is he does a bend on the neck pickup and then switches right to the bridge pickup. So kind of a cool flashy thing you can do. Um, so if I'm just up in the, in the pentatonic box and doing, you know, like a typical uh, bend where I'm bending a full bend at the 14th fret of the G string and grabbing the 15th fret of the B string. But as I do it, it's almost like a country like I think some of your country guys do that. But I hear Rory do that occasionally, it just sounds so cool. And you can follow that, you know what. Works great on a Fender Strat. So there you have it. There's some licks inspired by Mr. Mr. Rory Gallagher. Um, he was in a band called Taste in the 60s, which is really cool blues rock you might want to check out. And all his solo albums are fantastic. All kinds of stuff on YouTube. So hope you enjoyed the lesson. I will see you next time.